Thank you for allowing me to come back into your homes today and share a, a word of encouragement with you. Today I'm sitting out here on the dock at uh, Pat Baker's house. We've come out and fished here before, but I just came out to uh, look at the, the lake and, and just sit by the lake for a little while. It's so pleasant. And while I'm sitting here, it, it reminded me so much uh, of what we used to do whenever I was growing up here in Coffee County. And I'd get with my cousins and with Alan and Latrina and we would uh, go out after we worked in the fields and we would go down to the 17 mile river and go back in the swamp. Now when you go in the swamps you have to be careful because you can get lost. You can go and you get turned around so easy you don't know which direction you're going. So what we would do we would go into that swamp. Uh, we would take a ball of tobacco twine because we'd been working in tobacco in the fields and uh, the gardens. And we would take that big ball of tobacco twine down to the 17 mile river. Then as we crossed it, we would tie it off on a tree. And as we went back into the swamp, we would let that line out. And whenever we reach the end of that roll, which may be a long way back in the swamp, but whenever we reach the end of it, we would tie it off on a tree. Now from that point, we did not go beyond what we could see that twine, because that's how we found our way back out. We could go fishing in those holes back in the swamp there. They were good fishing uh, back in there. You could catch some good fish. And, but when it come time to come out late in the afternoon, uh, if you didn't have that twine, you may not find your way out. So then we would go back and find the end of that twine that's tied onto a tree, and we would follow it all the way back out to the 17 mile river itself and you get out. Now, that was our lifeline. We knew that if we followed that line, that it would take us back to safety. But if we went off on our own, away from it, we stood a chance of getting lost. Now that's the way it is in life. There is a lifeline that you can follow that will take you safely where you need to go. And that lifeline is called the Bible. It's the scripture, it's God's word. If you follow the Bible, and you follow the guidelines and the precepts that are set in that scripture, then it will take you where you need to go and it will take you safely back home. And that's what we as Christians are looking for and that's what we need so much. We need that lifeline to follow it, to read, to listen, to obey it, and then to follow it in our life patterns it will take us exactly where we need to go and at the end of it we'll find ourselves at home so i want to encourage you today to read your bible i want to encourage you to be fishers of men i want to encourage you to follow that lifeline let it guide you then when you go through the swamps of life when you go through the difficult times, when you go through the difficult situations, that lifeline will keep you on track. It will take you in the direction that you need to go. And let me encourage you today, read the Bible, study it, let it be your lifeline, let it guide you. And when this life here is all over, We've done all of our fishing and we've lived our lives and we've done the things that we want to do. And we follow the precepts of God. Then we know that that lifeline will lead us home to heaven. I pray that you will have a great day. I pray that God will bless you. And in the midst of this uh, pandemic that we're in, just follow the lifeline and you will wind up safety. You will wind up coming through this with no problems. God is going to protect you. 
God is going to bless you. God is going to help you. May you have a great day in the name of Jesus.